Institute of Mental Health Singapore was established in 1928 and we are the only tertiary mental health care provider for the country. We are a large 2,000 bedded hospital and we have over 2,500 staff which includes psychiatrists and allied health professionals including psychologists, occupational therapists, medical social workers, pharmacists and nurses. Our staff work very closely together to provide comprehensive care that effectively treats the biopsychosocial aspects of mental illness. At the institute level, we focus our efforts on three main areas, providing clinical care, conducting research and education. As the National Centre for Mental Health Services in Singapore, we take a population health perspective in much of our work. Our focus is not only on treatment, but education, prevention of mental illness and the reintegration for successful living in the community for our patients. The REACH program is a specific program for children and adolescents in schools. The idea was then to use the school as the place where mental health care could be provided, both in identification as well as in treatment, and that they only needed to come to specialised services if we could identify what the problem was and how severe it was. We went to the schools, worked on a system where teachers would be able to pick up problems and the school counsellors would be the contact point upon which they can call on a community team that would come to the school. And this consisted of doctors, psychologists, social workers, occupational therapists and nurses. In addition to the school-based support, we could also use the school as the drawing point for most of the community agencies working with schools. So for example, the family service centres could come to the school and work with the community team. We could also get family doctors and GPs to be able to come to the school to provide support or for the school to work closely with these community family practices, primary care physicians, doctors, to be able to provide care in the community. The National Addictions Management Service is a, a national program to help people with addictions, both behavioural addictions like gambling, as well as substance addictions like alcohol and illicit substances like heroin. The idea was to bring the services in a way that people could easily come and seek help. This service is universally available. Uh, they also do outreach into the community to educate and uh, inform the public and help to do prevention work, particularly in the schools. At the Institute of Mental Health Research Division, we seek to do research that will not only change the way we think about mental health, but also change the way we treat mental disorders. Our diverse research interests include that of psychiatric epidemiology, mental health literacy, help-seeking behaviour in Singapore, uh, psychiatric genetics, lipidomics, neuroimaging, clinical trials, uh, and more. To date, our team of 50 has garnered over $66 million in terms of extramural research funding, published over 600 papers in international peer-reviewed journals, as well as fostered extensive collaborations with our colleagues both locally and also internationally. Psychoses such as schizophrenia pose a huge psychosocial burden on not only the afflicted individual, but also on the caregivers as well as society. So we see it as important to pursue biological research on psychosis together with our collaborators internationally in the Psychiatric Genomics Consortium to clarify genetic markers in schizophrenia. Our recent study, which uh, um, examined over 150,000 subjects uh, across 30 countries around the world, found that there were more than 100 uh, locations in the human genome associated with uh, schizophrenia. These genetic markers may help us to identify earlier and also more accurately those people who are at risk of developing schizophrenia. Moreover, these uh, findings may also help in terms of pointing towards novel treatments in the management of this uh, debilitating condition. Epidemiological studies on specific conditions like depression, anxiety disorders and dementia in studies such as the Singapore Mental Health Study the study on the well-being of Singapore elderly will surface findings that will help our policymakers to formulate better and more effective policies to help those with these mental conditions. As a teaching hospital and a tertiary institute, one of our key roles is to train up the next generation of mental health professionals. In the last year, we provided pre-professional education to nearly 2,000 medical, nursing and allied health students. The Institute of Mental Health is the primary site for the Psychiatry Residency Program in Singapore. This is one of the few outside the United States to be accredited by the Accreditation Council for Graduate Medical Education International. For nursing education, 
we are accredited by the American Nurses Credentialing Centre. Our education efforts extend to the primary care sector where we offer a graduate diploma in mental health to equip general practitioners with the necessary skills and knowledge to provide basic mental health services in the community. We continually improve our services at IMH and we find ways to better understand our patients' needs so that we can meet them. One exciting initiative that we have embarked on is our Voices of Experience program. The intent of this program is to involve our service users, patients and caregivers to share their inputs with us in terms of policy, program and service development. We work in the areas of peer support, uh, consultancy and advocacy. For me, as a mental health advocate, I seek to educate, encourage and engage persons with mental health issues, um, caregivers, uh, mental health professionals as well as the general public. I write articles, I give talks, I basically speak out on issues which matter to persons with mental health issues and explain things from the perspective of a person with mental health issues. We now have a growing number of consumers in this program and our aim is to give our staff opportunities to engage these consumers on their perspectives of all aspects of their care and recovery so that we can ensure that our services meet our patients' needs and we do what really matters.